Reba Al-Assad, thank you very much for coming to WPC-TV. You are the cousin of Bashar al-Assad of Syria and also his opponent. So what is your vision for Syria and how do you expect, how do you hope to achieve it? Well, I think we are nearly at the fourth year now that this has been going on. We have warned of the cat uh, catastrophic consequences that we are at today and unfortunately uh, the word has uh, not acted. Uh, we all know how the situation started and we all know that the people who uh, went against the government in Syria, the uprising uh, that was taken uh, you know, all over uh, the Middle East, uh, was hijacked by Islamists. And from Tunisia to Libya to Egypt and to Syria. Unfortunately, in Syria, there are a lot of forces, regional forces, who started competing for control over Syria. You have including Turkey, for example, who sees interest in Syria because they want, uh, you know, to rebuild. Mr. Erdogan wants to rebuild the Ottoman Empire, and he needs Syria to access, uh, as you know, uh, to this other countries in the south. And you have, on the other hand, uh, Iran, uh, that is also trying uh, to control, to have certain control of the Middle East through the Shia Arabs. Uh, Unfortunately, also have uh, some of our, I mean, Western allies in the region, such as Saudi Arabia and Qatar, who are again competing. Qatar supporting the Muslim Brotherhood, as they did in Northern African countries, including Egypt, Libya, Tunisia. And they wanted uh, to do the same thing in Syria, with the aid of, of uh, Turkey, of course. Saudi Arabia, on the other hand, has supported the Salafi groups, Salafi Wahhabi groups against, uh, you know, the, the, the regime. And uh, they have both, uh, kind of hijacked really and, and paid for, for those rebels uh, uh, you know who were actually very moderate at the beginning unfortunately they started you know at the end of the day people uh, want money there's a catastrophic situation in Syria and whoever gives those people money they're willing to join whatever party uh, you know the party that gives the most a final question then um, have the Sykes Pico lines which after all created Syria have they now been basically erased because of the Islamic State, and how can the Islamic State, Daesh in Arabic, be, be defeated? I mean, the only way that we can defeat the Islamic State is that if we stand uh, very strongly in the defense of our values, the universal, uh, the universal values of human rights and democracy. That's the only way, and we cannot have duplicity in dealing with that, or you know, a hypocrisy that, we, that the West is going through at the moment, unfortunately, because of some economic uh, reasons. Uh, we cannot be promoting our values in one country and, you know, comple uh, completely ignorant in some others because today, you know, with alternative media, the internet, uh, TV, uh, satellite TV station, people are able to see what's, uh, what's going on. And this is what actually has made our work for democracy and freedom in Syria and in the Middle East much, much harder. So if we go after uh, the ISIS, we should not go only after IS, Islamic State or ISIS, because this is just a brand. We have to go after the ideology. This is the most important. You have Al-Nusra, you have uh, many other groups, the Muslim Brotherhood, they all believe in the same perverted ideology. It's to kill whoever does not share their perverted ideology and to have their caliphate state under Sharia law. And this should not be allowed and permitted to happen. Unfortunately, this coalition that has come together today to fight the Islamic State, which I think it's very late, it's not doing a very good job. And I don't think it's, it's going to be succeeding. As you have heard lately, there has been over 1,100 attacks with 950 deaths. So it's not very sustainable. It doesn't make sense, neither economically or either, you know, to, on, on the ground. It doesn't change things. I mean, for the little town of Kobani, for example, it has been over two months and they couldn't even liberate a small town of Kobani, you know, where the uh, Syrian Kurdish town. And, uh, you know, so it shows you how weak it is. And it shows you also how uh, they are not, if you don't go after the people who are backing those groups, such as Turkey, such as some Gulf countries, if you don't go after them and tell them, yes, we, you are our allies, but if you are becoming a danger and a menace to our national security, this is a red line. You know? It's a very sobering message. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.